Hello and welcome. In this video series of Azure DevOps Services, today we are going to learn how we can create a new pipeline on Azure DevOps Service. In the previous video, we learned how we can push our code to our repositories on Azure DevOps from Visual Studio Code. I have also created a playlist on Azure Function Apps, Azure Logic Apps, and Azure DevOps. Uh, if you are interested, I will provide a link to those playlists in the description box. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. In the next video, we will learn how we can create an artifact on the Azure DevOps service. So to create our first pipeline on Azure DevOps service, let's go to dev.azure.com. I have already signed it into the portal. If you have not signed into the portal, sign into the portal. Once you sign into the portal, if you have multiple accounts, Choose the account under which you have the project uh, for which you are going to create a new pipeline. I will choose this account. So here I have multiple projects. I will choose this API authentication. Here click on pipelines. Create a new pipeline. Here we have to choose the repo. We will choose Azure Repos Git. Then we have to use the project. This is API master authentication. So from here, either we can start a new pipeline or we can use an existing Azure pipeline. So we will start a new pipeline. So this is our YML file. So here we can add multiple stages to our pipeline like build, run. So for now, we are not going to make any change to this pipeline. In the next video, we will learn what are the stages of a pipeline and how we can change, add these stages to this YML file. Click on this save and run button for now. Here we have to add some message. Uh, for the commit purpose so we can identify this pipeline easily so we will say code by pipeline test so we can also add some optional message if we want then click on save and run so it's creating our pipeline we have two chains if we go back we can run this pipeline we can have to choose this branch here so we are going to use this master by default and we have these advanced options variable stage and resources in our pipeline like we have we can have our variables in our pipeline we can have multiple stages of our pipeline and then we can use resource we can have dependencies in our pipeline click on run so this api authentication job is good we can click on this and check the stats of our pipeline starting job checking out post checkout is working job is done finalizing the job once the job is finalized it will build a report for build states go back so this way we have successfully created our first pipeline on Azure DevOps service thanks for watching